to feel good about the uh, Pittsburgh Pirates this year, man. They're playing some playing some good baseball. Right? Playing some good baseball. I feel I feel good about the uh, the Penguins too. Thanks for asking. That's all right. I'm from the home <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You got to do it, you know. That's what I say every time I see you. He's a homeboy. There you go. (laughs) He's a homeboy. So how are you feeling, buddy? Feeling good. Feeling good. Physically, everything going well for you? Um, Yeah, physically, things are well. Um, You know, up and down. Sometimes I don't get enough sleep when I come to Vegas. But other than that, you know, five-hour energy, you know, we, we solve it. Yeah. What are you looking for now? I mean, uh, you know, you're going to... Who are you looking for in, in, in your next fight? That's what I'm trying to say. You know, what, do you, what do you have going for? I, you know, I don't really look for fights. Fights just find me. Um, that's just the way I do things. That's just the way I run it. Um, so I'm just going to sit back and wait on my couch for something to happen, and uh, I'll answer the phone and fly wherever I need to fly to. How did it feel during your last fight to take down somebody, or take out somebody, rather, that had called you out? Um, well, I mean, that's what I do. I, that's what I do. He calls me out, you know, you want to fight. Cool, I'll fight you. It's not a problem. All you have to do is say, please, do you want to fight? You want to fight? I'll fight you. There was so much smack talk leading up to that one. After the fight, what was the case between you two? Was it resolved at all, or did you speak? Oh, uh, it was cool. After the fight, it was cool. Yeah, he just came to the back. We were chit-chatting in the, in the, in the locker rooms, and uh, he, was, he was a gentleman. Vinny's a gentleman, so it was all good. What are your thoughts on Glover Teixeira tonight against James Sahuna? Are you need to be keeping your eye on that one? Uh, yeah, might as well keep your eye on it. I don't, I don't have a fight book, so, you know, might as well keep your eye on it, see what happens. If there were to come some instance where maybe Glover, let's say, were to call you out or vice versa, what would you think of that kind of a matchup in the top, two top ten opponents going against each other? Um... Whoa, whoa, whoa. If, if, so you say, yeah. let me, okay, I'm going to say what you say. One or the other of you call each other out and you fight. If, what would so, you think about that matchup? So if Glover were to win tonight, mm-hmm. perhaps. Perhaps. And then he went on to call me out. Did he call me out on Facebook or on Twitter? Those are two different Might things. Might be Twitter or okay, I don't know. Could be Tweet Deck. On, on, on Facebook. <laughs> All right. Um, anyhow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> You know, it, it, yeah, I, I don't turn down fights. This is what I do. That's what I love to do. Would you be interested in an opponent like him? Always, always. He's a he's a good fighter. He's a top ten guy. Uh, you know, I, whether it's top ten or not top ten, if Joe Silva says this is the guy you're going to fight, I say, when do we fight? You still doing all your training at Alliance, or are you mixing things up these days? I'm still doing all my training at Alliance. Nothing can't, wrong with that. No, nothing wrong with that. I can't get away from San Diego, even if I try. Yeah. So. How's Dominic's recovery going? I know the poor guy's had a hard time. You know, Dominic is, uh, he's good, man. He's doing so well. And uh, a lot of people want to know when he's coming back, when he's coming back. And it's one of those things you don't want to put uh, a, a date on it because then it becomes, a, you know, a benchmark of your success up to that point. And um, you, 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 that's just not the way your body works, you know, you some kids, you know, I mean, it, it's, it's one of those things, you know, he, you just, you never know when you're going to be ready to go, but uh, he's doing really well. He's doing excellent. So I saw you the other day, we're hanging out at the wrestling event, mm-hmm. Jordan Burroughs, mm-hmm. dude, 54 and 0. that kid mm-hmm. is unbelievable, but he says he's not sure he's going to go to MMA after what, well, any way you could convince him. I, I don't care if I have to apply actual force to Jordan Burroughs. He's going to be a fighter. Yeah. Simple as that. Simple as that. He's going to be a fighter. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't. I don't know what I'm going to have to do. You know, threaten him or something. I don't know. Speaking of that, you and Uriah Faber have put together something for the expo in July, a kind of MMA draft, the first of its kind. First how, of its kind. how did this come about? Um, Uriah and I, uh, we were we were speaking about some things, and uh, he and I, uh, we just decided to put it together. That's. I, I really. I really wanted to develop something to be able to give back to the wrestling community, and he is uh, he's one of those guys, he's good at everything. He really is. He's one of those guys that's good at everything. You have a friend that's good at everything, you kind of hate him at the same time, you know, that you like him. Um, he's one of those guys. Um, and so we came up with this idea to uh, be able to give back to the amateur athletes. MMA is, uh, I'd say, nine-tenths at the amateur level. And these guys are, you know, it, in order to be a professional athlete, you struggle most of the time. I, I'm struggling right now. Let me let's start there. 
um, you know, and uh, you know, and, and, and so on. So uh, it's just a, a way to be able to give the amateur guys uh, a platform to be seen, uh, to get their name out there, and really uh, gain some traction before they start their professional career. I'd seen that you were at a camp, uh, the Team Alpha Male camp. Uh, were you and Uriah maybe doing any kind of drafting on your own? Like, were you guys scouting out guys around different areas? Have you worked on that together? Or how will the scouting process work out to bring these guys in? Are they applying? Um, well, Uriah, he's, he's a machine, okay? Before I even came to Uriah with my idea for MMA draft, um, Uriah finds all these, you know, like three foot tall, 30 pound kids, and he brings them straight into Alpha Male. All right, and uh, Joseph Benavides was the first guy. Um, <laughs> I, was just, I was just kidding. I was just kidding, Joe. Joe I was just kidding. Um, anyhow, <laughs> but he, no, his his uh, his guys up at Alpha Male, his team, he has a, a, a great amateur team. Um, they all love him, and they're all super talented. I saw some of these kids compete, and they're, they're super talented. So when I came to him with MMA Draft, he was all about it. Um, and oh, wait, I, I started. I missed your question. Oh, that's okay. I was wondering how you guys will bring these guys in to be at the expo. Are you right. get, taking applications, or is there a website they can go to, or are you guys actively scouting them yourselves? Well, some of the some of the top kids uh, in the nation, we are actively recruiting ourselves. Um, but luckily, the expo is such an amazing event that uh, most of uh, MMA's top studs are going to be in town anyway. And for you know, was, there's a grappling tournament that weekend as well. So, can you give uh, your thoughts on the main card today? Like, who's going to win the? Okay. Uh, name the fight. Uh, Velasquez against uh, Bigfoot. Uh, I like uh, Bigfoot, but I think uh, I think Cain Velasquez is going to win. Junior uh, DeSantis against uh, Hunt. Uh, that's, a that's a tough one, you know. If I were Junior, I ca I'll call him Junebug. That's what I call him. <laughs> um, if I were Junebug, I would say I, I would wrestle him. I would wrestle Mark Hunt, but I don't know Mark Hunt's wrestling. I haven't trained with him, so I mean, I, I would say that wrestling will work against him, but I don't know. I haven't trained with him. Um, but yeah, and, and you know, if he goes out and he could, he could very well take him down and, and you know do some ground and pound and just kind of mix it up with him there. Uh, big guy like that. One thing you don't like doing is standing up. Okay, it just it's not fun. Um, so I imagine if he did a whole lot of getting taken down and standing back up, it's pretty tiring for a big guy. So. And Glover against Tehuna. Glover against Tehuna. Um, you know, I'm going to go with the underdog on this. A lot of people aren't picking Tehuna, but even though he may not be as crisp as Glover, I think he's uh, he makes up for it and uh, just being an athlete. Not that Glover isn't an athlete, but he is. Uh, I mean, he's one of those guys. He's a young guy, and uh, he's a. Uh, is a good rugby tackle. You know what I mean? He's just he just kind of like ah, just gets, gets after it. So. so Phil, you know we um, saw that you had a couple of personal problems before the last fight. I'll phrase it that way. I don't mm -hmm. know what's going on with that, but I know your fans certainly want to know. I know what things were being said, and a lot of us find them hard to believe. Some people may believe it. I don't know. I just wondered if you had a comment on that. Uh, you know, not, I really can't comment yeah. on it too much, but. Uh, Obviously, everything you see on the internet is not true. That's, really? Yeah, no, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. And I'm a French model. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. Bonjour. But that's getting worked yeah. out, and you feel you feel good it's, about it's how it's been. Worked it's out. been worked out. Yeah. It's been worked out. Well, can you please talk about you know working through the distraction of that, the the timing of it that week in Newark that it came out publicly like that three days before the fight? How did you work through that? to be ready for that fight? Uh, distractions aren't necessarily something that's new to me. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've ever had to lose 20 pounds, study for an exercise physiology final, and go against one of the top guys in the nation and in the Big Ten, then you, you yeah, you know, you can, you can handle it. You know, uh, you know it's, it's obviously it's a different kind of distraction, but, uh, you know, it's uh, when you, it's just it just comes down to to stress. It just put a lot of stress on me, and uh, and uh, you know it's you just got to be able to, to segment your life. You know when when you go to work, you work. When you go home, you don't you don't bring your, your work home with you. So those other kinds of distractions you talked about though are ones that nobody else necessarily knows that are going on. Not 10 million people on on Twitter. And so as you're having to work through those distractions, you've also got people saying or believing what they're going to believe and. You're, you're kind of helpless to do anything about it at that point, right? 
so to speak. Yeah. <laughs> I, mean, I can't stop people from thinking things, but, um, you know, I just got to, you know, I, all I can do is be me. So, uh, first time I interviewed you a few years ago, we were joking about how you spend your money, your bonus money. I think you said you took a, a holiday all the way in San Diego from Chula Vista, which was like three exits away or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. <laughs> and maybe you bought a TV or anything like that. Uh-huh. Since then, have you, have you, have, has your life gotten a little larger? Are you live in, you know, you live uh, in the dream? Not really. Yeah. Not really. No, I'm, I'm saving up. I'm saving. I can't tell you what I'm going to buy because then it like ruins everything. Okay. If you say what you're going to buy before you buy it. So, you know, it might like go up in price instead of going on sale. <laughs> right. Right. That happens sometimes. <laughs> don't tell anybody. You tell somebody you want it, it'll, it'll go up. But you're still living, living pretty humbly. You don't allow yourself any, any you know, yeah. toys after you win a fight or anything? Uh, nah, not really. No, uh, let's see what I did. I had to renew my, my Xbox Live membership. Okay. Yeah. Um, I tell you what. I tell you what I didn't do. Didn't fix fix the screen of my phone. Oh, no. Keeping keeping the gangster. Everybody see that? Spider web. Yeah. You're gonna come to Vegas. <laughs> Shenanigans can happen in Vegas, so, um, so it's probably better. Yeah. Exactly. Now it doesn't yeah, get rebroken no, in Vegas. Right. Exactly. So, problem solved. Cool. So you. Uh, I heard that you got up to as high as blue belt in jujitsu, mm-hmm. and, and I heard from somewhere that you don't really put a lot of weight into that, that you still kind of feel like you're a white belt. Can you kind of elaborate or confirm anything on that? Yeah, yeah, you know, a lot of people call me a blue belt long before I was a blue belt because I competed at blue belt. Very confusing stuff. Um, but, yeah, I have a blue belt now, and uh, it mostly just sits on the shelf. I don't really train in the gi. But, uh, yeah, you know, I, I don't know. The whole belt thing, I, I think, is overrated. Um, it, it's hard to uh, really... And it not, not, and Frankly, I think it's better if I don't have an official belt ranking because then people don't know what to think when they get into, on the mat with me. You know, it's you know, he's just a blue belt. You know? and, and I'm fine with that. I prefer to be a white belt. Did I tell you that? I almost tried to blue belt down. But did you? I did. I almost did. Almost did. What convinced you to say, okay? I, did, I You know, you don't want to disrespect anybody. You're like, oh, it's too soon. It's too soon. It's been three years. I don't want a blue belt. <laughs> three years is kind of a long time yes. to get the blue belt, I was going to say. Yeah, no. Well, in wrestling, yeah, in, in wrestling, it's, well, it's in, not. In jiu-jitsu. Yeah. Um, specifically, jiu-jitsu, three years at white belt is kind of like, are you even coming in and rolling at all? Well, yeah. Well, yeah I, you know, I... I, I, listen, I take my time, okay? I take my time. I, I, I'm very, I very particular. Calling you out over here. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I think so. That's a, that's what I understand. Right. Yeah. I'm not gonna roll. So you're saying you understand yeah. a lot, huh? I do, I do understand. All right. However, I'm just, I'm just, I want a clarification from you. Oh my God. Call the, call the professor. <laughs> the professor, huh? Yeah. Where, I'm where's this sit- comparing to Facebook and Twitter call outs? Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is it, he better not be on Facebook. When I get done, it better not be on Facebook. Uh, yeah. No. It, it, there's really there's no rush I mean if I'm a black belt tomorrow what what changes color of your belt color of my belt and I don't even wear pants most days I wear shorts so <laughs> another belt that sits on the on the shelf so I mean yeah nothing changes Are the right people uh, when, I think when people get into a fight with me they will know that going to the ground is a, a dangerous situation regardless fair enough